Morgan, this is the girl that's charging. Megan Kang on the T at eight. Yeah, she's a tremendous ball striker. Top 10 in greens and regulation on the LPGA Tour this year. Yeah, that led to a birdie to get to 14 under, then this to get to 15 at the very next hole. This is really the club that's the biggest difference maker for Megan. This is for only 12 putts through the front nine. Well, she has this to take the lead, and Paige, you're following along with this group. Yeah, it's just a slow putt up this hill. Wow. wow. Megan Cannon's been a player that's been putting herself in position since she joined the tour. Hasn't got a win yet. They're taking advantage of these soft conditions as we go to 12 and find Paige McKenzie. 158 yards and a seven iron. She had a tremendous angle coming into this whole location from the left side of the fairway. Another solid approach. Maybe another one putt there, Paige. <laughs> it's been looking really solid with the butter. Yeah, this moving left to right in is a little bit slow on the slower side. Just a little tentative. It's, it's been a deceptive putt. Yeah, and this hole is one of those birdie opportunities, but you've got to make it in the fairway. Yeah, this left, the whole location today is on the on the left side of this green, on the, on the high tier. There is a bunker that guards the front of this. This whole location only four yards over the front edge, so 90, 97 to the hole and 93 to cover that bunker. Nice little drop and stop there for Megan. That could go kind of either way. But that did not have enough speed. You have to think, Paige, that's somebody who tends to maybe struggle a little bit with their putting. Granted, she's putting beautifully so far this week, but it's her next putt. Back to 14, and Kang, our leader for birdie. Yeah, we're going to try to get some pace on her putt. It's been a little tentative the last couple of holes. Correct pace. Just a little misread. What's your sense, Paige, of her attitude leading this, leading this tournament? She's loose. She's joking with a caddy in the last hole, kind of ran into her bunker. 148 yards. And seven iron. It just didn't sound like solid contact. Coming out of that really wet sand, Paige, just heavy. And she'll have some work. Kang with her third shot on 15. She's got options here. She could take it low or go high. She's chosen the hot low. Not bad, not bad. I think that was very nicely played. Yeah. And Kang to save her par. Not much in this, but the first real challenge. Yeah. Oh, really well done. Very that nice. Stroke looked so good. Created a little bit of stress for some players, but none from Gabby. And Megan's heading down the middle of the fairway. Should be in good shape. That's a closing stretch you can take advantage of. On Friday, Megan did finish with three consecutive birdies, 16, 17, and 18. We're back with Megan Kang, second in the par 4 16. Pitching wedge from 122 yards. This is a green light hole location for her. Just needing to stay patient. They're just not going in. Did that run out of pace, Paige? It, it was a little bit of both. Uh, I think with a little more speed, it wouldn't have fallen off, but it, it did miss on the low side. And you got to believe she's thinking these last two holes with par five, she's got to make something happen. Just hasn't been able to get those birdies to go. This is a little wide right, though. Well, she's tied with Gabby Lopez. Gabby Lopez absolutely uh, Where she would typically punch out is a fairway bunker. Uh, but she clipped a few leaves, but that is ideal. Really nice. Sometimes it uh, works out when you, you hit those leaves. And you've got to fling it all the way back to this flag, Paige. Just like that. And she'll have that. Oh, my goodness. Good roll. She hit her line. And Paige, you called it. It was going to be tough with that line off the bunker. She'll remain one back of the leader, Gabby Lopez. They're going to go to the final hole, to the 18th. Like she's going to have to make something happen. Again, the fairway is pretty wide open. Anything at the right is in good shape. Beautiful. That'll work. Yeah, this 18th not playing as firm off the fairway, so we're not seeing as many balls. Wrecked myself. It's actually a two-wood. I got the signal a two, assumed it was seven-wood. That is 
not enough to carry either. Sounded maybe just a bit heavy. Oh, oh. Nearly home. 